Seance is one of the pioneers of jank brewing. It's been seeing play in the hands of Timmy's ever since it's printing back in 2012. And we're gonna bring it back here today with a brand new concept. So thanks to Corset 2020, we now have Agent of Treachery. And Agent of Treachery is an absolute amazing thing to get back with Seance. We get to steal a permanent every turn so long as we can keep filling our graveyard with Agent of Treacheries. So let's hope to do that here today because it's gonna be a blast. So let's get right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. This video is sponsored by mtgonlinestore.com. For some cool and creative MTG apparel and accessories, everything from t-shirts to backpacks, check out mtgonlinestore.com and use promo code MARIN for 15% off your next order. And it also supports the show. Link is down below. If you wanted to pick up today's deck while also supporting the channel, you can get your cards from tcgplayer.com by clicking the decklist link down below. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you wanted to join the marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon exclusive Discord server where we discuss future Fan Fridays episodes as well as many other things. So this deck is more or less a meme. That's kind of what Seance always is. It's not a deck that's meant to crush the meta by any means, but it's meant to do some hilarious things. So hopefully we can pull that off. We're gonna need a good streak of luck, but there is a reason this is a favorite among jank brewers. Starting right off with Seance, it is a four mana white enchantment. This is at the beginning of each upkeep. We can exile a creature card from our graveyard. If we do, we create a spirit that's a copy of it and exile the beginning of the next end step. So the reason this card is so hard to brew around is because it doesn't return the creature from the graveyard to play, it just creates a token that's a copy of it. So it doesn't even gain haste either, so it's mainly just for enter the battlefield effects, just for value. So onto the things that we're going to be using for value. Siege Rhino is a really good beast stick that we can just hard cast, but when it dies, or we can just mill over some, and then we just get those helix triggers over and over again, so hopefully that should be good for stabilizing and maybe even finishing off the game if our opponent's fetching and shocking a lot. And then we got a play set of Agent of Treachery, brand new from Core Set 2020. We can gain control of a permanent when he enters. So if we can get a couple of these, we can start beating down our opponent with their own stuff. And that is kind of the goal here. It's pretty much a meme, but hopefully we can get it off. Chart of Course is there just to pitch these things from our hand. If they're stuck in our hand, we can't really cast them, but we would like to gain them back with uh, Seance. Chart of Course can just draw two and then discard one of these from our hand. Most likely Asian of Treachery. So on to the first few things we're going to be using to fill our graveyard. Commune with the Gods and Crew Fixes Insight. This is kind of what we're using to find our Seance because Commune digs five deep for it. Crew Fixes Insight digs six deep for it. And they grab enchantments and community of the gods can also grab a creature which may or may not be relevant in some cases uh, but this is really good for filling our graveyard because uh, the rest go into the grave and another thing that crewfix's insight can grab is uh, on the nice community of the gods can do that as well if we already have a seance and we don't need another one it can grab an on the nice which is pretty relevant brand new removal spell out of modern horizons you enchant a snow land so we're going to be running a bunch of snow and you can exile a creature and opponent controls until on thin ice leaves the battlefield so that is going to be our primary removal just because it's got pretty good tech with those spells and then we also got two copies of path to exile just because we really want to be able to stay alive to get this seance down um effectively and then finishing it all off we got arkham's astrolabe and ice vein Codal, the typical snow package so this fixes our mana because we are a four color deck and then Ice Fang Kotal is also something with the ETB effect that we can get back with Seance just to cantrip if we needed to, but also does a pretty good job at blocking early because it will gain death touch. We got a total of 23 lands, which should be enough because we also got the Ice Fang Kotal and Astrolabe to dig a little bit and chart a course to draw some cards as well. Onto the sideboard, we got three copies of Damping Sphere to shut down combo uh, because we are kind of just sitting here dirtling doing nothing, so we want to make sure those combo decks don't go off. Also Tron. And then we got one copy of Seal of Primordium. Uh, this we can hit off of our Crew Fixes Insight or Commune with the Gods, and it is just a naturalized effect. And we got some additional naturalized effects in that three copies of Night of Autumn. It can naturalize when it enters, but can also gain life, which is relevant against burn. And this deck is a little bit susceptible to burn, so that life gain is pretty nice. Then we got two copies of Defense Grid. That is pretty good against counter spells because we do want our Seance to resolve. And we got two copies of Greater Aromancy. This is to protect our Seance from potential naturalized effects like Nature's Claim, Assassin's Trophy, and whatnot. And then we have the package of a playset of Acidic Slime. 
This is going to be pretty clutch for the control matchups. We can throw it out there, let it die. Sans will get it back. We just keep destroying lands. This would be pretty good against Tron, against Control, just to keep them in check while we set up our Asian Treacheries. So that's about it. I'll get this dream started and I'll see you in the first round. All right, so we got a game here against JMac2000. We all know and love him. He is the Spike who plays Tron. And uh, I want to get a Tron matchup to see what we can do with this Agent of Treachery stealing Tron land. So this is amazing and perfect. And we actually called it. Um, for those watching on YouTube, you missed it. But what happened is... Um, oh, the Tron, of course, I wanted is in hand too, so I can ditch the Agent of Treachery and get it on turn four. But what I was saying is in between rounds, I was like... I want to get a Tron matchup, so hopefully J-Mac shows up right now, and then like three seconds later, J-Mac shows up, and it was like the perfect timing in the world, and couldn't have called anything better. Alright, um, so they're getting Tron online next turn, which is a shame. Um, let's just get a Hollowed Fountain and Chart of Course. Actually, you know what? No. I don't want to reveal that I'm a graveyard deck yet. Because if they have a Karn here, I'm scooping. Obviously. I'm obviously scooping if they have a Karn here. So, let's see if they got it or not. Okay, it's a Ballista. It's a Worm Coil. Sure. That is fine. I can gain control of that. And now we can go with Charter Course, Ditch Agent of Treachery, play a Swamp, play Astrolabe, no Death Touch yet. We're just going to do some jump blocks. Don't you ballista me, opponent. J-Mac is like our rival. He got us last time. And we gotta get him this time. Of course not. Of course I can't. We got the O-Stone. Oh, they're cracking it now? Alright, sure. Alright, so my problem is... It's a pretty obvious problem. If I play Seance, it's gonna die because they're gonna crack O-Stone. But that'll leave me with some stuff, so let's do it. Let's fetch, get a basic forest. And let's play a Seance. And I can probably find another one off of this here uh, commune. I want to take their Tron land too. They got zero cards left. Yeah, it's probably best to take the Worm Coil, since I currently don't have an answer for it. But then again, you know what? i probably take their Tron land, because they're kind of in top deck mode, and Commune with the Gods can probably find me an On the Nice. Yeah, I don't want the, the, that thing to split up either. You know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna leave this back. Try to tempt them to, like, not... Um... Try to tempt them to, like, not, uh... Attack. I'm going to take their tower. I'm not going to take their worm coil. I can deal with that another way. Hey, coil? Nah. Nah. I'm not, I'm not stealing the worm coil. They're about to blow up O-Stone. I'll be left with two three threes, but I don't want them to have mana. Because they're in top deck mode. They got zero cards in hand. So I, I want to like take their Tron away because it's going to be hard for them to assemble Tron again and then find a bomb. So, I'm taking their tower, because like I said, Commune with the Gods can find me an Anthonice, and Anthonice can kill the Worm Coil. And I assume they're going to want to crack this O-Stone to keep our Seance offline. Yeah, it looks like they're going to crack this O-Stone. Sure. 
Give me that tower. All right, now they they got two cards in hand, and no Tron online. All right, I was like, I was gonna be salty if it was a map. Tracks it, don't stirrings. All right, don't stirrings or map. Don't be lame. J Mac is like the world's best top decker I've ever seen. By the way, every time we fight him, like we're so close to winning, it's just like right when he needs something, he gets it. So. Hope for nothing. Ooh, another Agent of Treachery that we can potentially hard cast, but... Right now, let's just... Commune. Try to find another Seance or something, or... On the Nice. There's the On the Nice. So let's cast... On the Nice... On a Snow-Covered Swamp. Take that. I probably tapped the wrong mana, didn't I? So this, and I can't do anything with it, so pass. Now, I can shard a course and ditch the Agent of Treachery, and then I can find another Seance and get it back. Or I can just cast it next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one short. What'd you find? Is it a Ballista? Ballista. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Give me a land. Seance. Okay, I can go Seance plus uh, Charter Course. Let's do that. So Seance, Charter Course, Ditch Agent of Treachery. That seems good to me. Um, yep, chart a course. And I probably should take the Ballista. I mean, I want to get Tron offline so bad, but then if they go attacking and put a counter on that Ballista, we're going to have to... Oh, no, we can chump block, right? Oh, no, we won't have it anymore. Oh, no, yeah, we can chump block. And then we can Rhino... And then Rhino, and then Rhino, and then Rhino. Alright, ditch the Agent of Treachery. The Breeding Pool tapped. I don't know, dude. I think I should, I think I should take the Ballista. <sighs> do I take the Ballista? Do I take the Ballista? Do I do it? Do I do it? Rhino into Rhino into Rhino. It's probably a... Good way to win, right? I can Rhino into Rhino. They'll keep putting counters on their dude, though. Yeah, I have to take the Ballista. I have to take the Ballista. Alright. They're gonna pump it up. Take the Saint of That's a maybe. I can assemble their Tron. Yeah, that, that'd be the most alpha thing in the world. If we could assemble, if we could take all three of their Tron lands and assemble Tron of our own, that'd be the hypest thing in the universe. It topped a sphere. Alright, can I get a land so I can go double siege Rhino? That'd be nice. Let's get back a nice Fang Kotal here. Draw. Alright, I can get a land. Alright, so black, green, white, whatever. Rhino. Uh, shock here. Black, green, white, whatever. Rhino. Down to 20. Alright, now we have a good clock going. A really good clock. Get back that Kotal just to cantrip. Another redundant seance. Alright. We've seen all four seances.
It'd be so funny if there's nothing more satisfying than peeing off a Tron player. Agent would be drawing cards if he had full Tron too. Yeah, it would be. That'd have been cool. We still got two uh, agents to find, but we got to draw some crew fixes in sights or something. Oh no, they're going to take a blast zone to four. Good thing I have the backup. They just concede. Nice. Nice. We snagged a game off J-Mac. All right, on to sideboarding. Bring in the play set of slime. And uh, could bring in greater aromancy to protect our stuff from nature's claim. Protect our seances from nature's claim. But it's probably whatever. I'll keep like three on the nices. Let's cut three removal spells. Let's cut Ice Fang Kotal. And um, I guess I'm going to bring in greater aromancies to protect our seances. I guess I'm cutting Ice Fang Kotals again. And uh, what else? Damping Sphere, obviously. Bring in Damping Sphere. Bring in Damping Sphere. Cut the other Kotal. Cut an Astrolabe. And cut a another astrolabe. All right, let's try to get this acidic slime treachery thing online ASAP. You really want to cut exiles for worm coil? Yeah, because we still got three on the nices. And yeah, they're definitely going to bring in uh, things to hit our Anthonices as well. They're definitely bringing in the nature's claims. What? What? Why? I guess he had to go somewhere. But you know what? I'll take a free win against J-Mac. We got there. I'm sad I didn't get to go off with the slime shenanigans because slime plus treachery blowing up all the lands, stealing all the lands would have been hilarious and fun to see. Well, you're just going to have to imagine it. Got a game here against Zara Vim, and we are on the draw with some Treachery Seance. What about the Oh No emote? That's probably a good emote. I'll show you in between rounds what I'm working with. Yeah, hey, what's up, Avaros? Take Seance, but play Rhino. Oh, we already read that. I didn't, I didn't notice Avaros here. Yo, yo. All right, we can go Ice Fang Kotal into Rhino into hopefully ditch this and find a seance. So let's let's keep this hand. Maybe we should be playing five color seance so that we can get Faithless looting. It'd be so hard to fix for that. Like, we're trying to be as painless as possible. Oh, it looks like Twiddle Storm or Amulet. Okay, never mind. It's Hogak. So we lost. But we're going to give it our best try. Okay, there's a chart, of course, to ditch the... Agent of Treachery. Now, hopefully, that Charter Course could also find us a Seance in the process. Mills over Hogak, what do you know? Good thing that Crab is blue. Okay. You got another black creature? Are you gonna do a turn two Hogak like they always do? Oh, you just got a Grave Crawler to get back. Oh, wow. You mill yourself again? Sure. Yep, this is fun. This is this is fair and balanced magic. This should be legal in magic, or it should be legal in modern for a very long time. I think this is this is totally fine. No problems here. No bannings needed. No bannings needed whatsoever. Um, I. Guess I'm gonna chart a course and try to hit an Anthen Ice. And if I don't hit an Anthen Ice, I'm a scoop because I don't want to reveal information. I don't want the opponent to think that I am a graveyard deck. Chart a course could throw out there that I may be a graveyard deck, so they'll probably leave in Leyline, but. I just, I just don't want to, I just don't want them to think I'm a graveyard deck. <sighs> Alright, opponent's tanking on our fetch. Do you want to search the extract our Prismatic Vista, thinking that we're going to fetch a Prismatic Vista? So cool.
Yo. Oh, you did a soul herder, Avaros? That's cool. I would definitely do soul herder. I want to I want to play a soul herder deck. Uh, no, I want to play an ephemerate deck. Now that that's something that I want to brew. Um I've been I was thinking about doing it like months ago when when ephemerate came out. And I was like I should brew around this for modern cuz it seems pretty sweet. It's very valuable for like it was like in my top 10 modern horizons cards actually. And uh I still haven't played around it, so I want to do that. Yo, um, Jungle Fiverr, or uh, Max Makes Magic now, uh, but it used to be Jungle Fiverr, or no, I shouldn't say that. I guess that's, that's best to be left in the past. Zero Dame, where have you gone? I've not seen you in forever. Good to have you back. Been a long time. Yo, I'll raid you sometime, Jungle Fiverr. I gotta raid you one of these days. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, opponent probably disconnected or something, but if I can snag a free win against Hogak, then sure. Because if you want to throw out a turn two Hogak, I will definitely sit here and get a free win against you. Give me those points. You took quite a hiatus from Magic? Dude. Well, glad you're back. You back on YouTube? I, I think you, like, I actually checked, like, I was like, where's Jungle Fiber been? And so, like, I checked your YouTube channel last night, and, like, I saw that you just, like, uploaded, like, four days ago, right? Like, you just started uploading again, but you haven't uploaded in, like, months. Okay, opponent is finally back. We're gonna get a snow-covered island and shard a course and see if we can get an on the nice. If not, we are going to scoop. All right, let's scoop. All right, on to sideboarding, bring in, we actually have no graveyard hate. Our plan is to just like grind out, like literally just grind out. All right, well, I think I'm going to just run it right back and hope for hope for the best. Hope I can like get the wombo combos and bitch an agent Sansa back and steal a Hogak, I guess. There was a notification of BC. Just want you to know you forward with the wheels of the other week. You've tweaked it with Echo of Eons. That deck brought me so much joy. Dude, that's cool. That We had fun. Uh, me and uh, Max collabed and did the wheels deck. It was really good. Would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, I'm going to keep that. We got a path and an Anthe Nice. So let's start on Prismatic Vista Fetch. Get a snow covered plons. If Hogak can be legal, make counterspell legal, yeah, totally. That makes sense, but. But Zerz doesn't want to give us counterspell. Instead, they're like, oh, we give you force negation. Yay. I'm not complaining, but still. Counterspell would have been nice. All right. I'm going to on the nice that because screw that mill. Let's fetch now so we can F6. Let's grab an overgrown tomb. Draining a Hogak would be dope. What do you mean? Oh no, Force of Vigor. Well, at least that's not hitting a Seance. What did they ditch? What did they ditch to it? Vengevine? What they exile? How'd they cast that? What? Hello? You can exile a green card from here. But yeah, what did you exile? It doesn't tell me. Where is it? It's not in the exile. This is the exile zone. I don't... Oh. They exiled a Force of Vigor to cast a Force of Vigor. I see. And of course, your turn to Hogak. Again. Again. I mean, they gotta have a hybrid creature here, or else they can't do it this turn. Commune. Alright, let's commune. 
try to find the seance. There's a seance. And we ditch over uh, Agent of Treachery, which is nice. Uh, play a Windswept Heath so that we can leave up a path. You know what? Hold on. Do I actually path this Stitcher Supplier? Because it, it'll give them one less black creature to be able to convoke back Hogak. But then again, it'll mill them for three with Hedron Crab, and I don't like that. So I guess I'm just going to hold on to this path. Because I'm going to steal a Hogak with Seance next turn. And then if they get another Hogak, I'm going to have to path that one. So that's my plan currently. Seder, yep. They take a land and mill over blood gas and two more hedron crabs. And here is Hogak number one. Sure. I'll path that Venge Vine and I'll steal the Hogak. So let's get a basic planes here. Pat the Venge Vine. Get it out. I wish I could have got a dual color land because then I could have played Rhino. Now I can't play Rhino. Now I got white, black. I need a green source. And now, okay, there's our source. Now let's Seance. I would like that Hogak, please. It's looking quite appealing in this current board state, so I would like to have it. You were super tempted with Inquiry, but found that you trying to drop something that you are lucky enough to have in hand to make Inquiry scarier to use on earlier. Like, but if you're playing Hogak, what do you want to keep in hand? Is there anything you want to keep in hand with Hogak? He'd be fine if he was a small dude, like a 2-2 two -two for 4 or something. Yeah, like, even if he was like a 4-4 four -four for 6, that'd be a lot better. Probably wouldn't be as busted. We only have one target making the seance an easy choice. And it looks like they cut a uh, ley line, so that's great. So let me have this Hogak, please, and thank you. Sorry about taking wheels at zero dame, lol. Talking about wheels. Oh no, it's all good. You can talk about whatever in this chat as long as it's not like cussing and offensive to anybody. Yeah, it's all good. You can go ahead and talk about greedy wheels. Greedy wheels is cool. We played it on the channel, so. The deck we played, so if you're talking about a deck we played, all you're doing is advertising the channel for us. <laughs> so, that's fine. Not like that, Bladoski, you know what I mean. Oh, yo. Let's, uh, let's all, let's all give a, let's all give a ducky for, for Jungle Fiverr. And for everybody new to the chat here, I see there's 43, you guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. And the opponent scoops to us stealing their Hogak? What? <laughs> I, what? Um, why? Is my question. Why do they scoop to us stealing their Hogak? They have another one right here that they can cast right now. Why can't they? Like, am I missing something? Does it legend rule even though it's on our side? Like, I don't think that's how it works, but like, hello? Why would they concede there? <laughs> I'll take it though. I'm bringing in Night of Autumn because I know they're bringing back in the, um, the, uh, the ley line. It's only bringing three things. I want all my, I want all my one drops. Ice Fang Codal is okay. Let's cut one crew fixes in sight. Cut one. I want all these things at the top end too. 
I guess I'm cutting some codals as good as they are. Yeah, old legend rule would do that. I remember back in the day, you were geisting geists with geists because they're hexproof. Geist would be a removal spell to geist. All right, let's keep that because we got the Night of Autumn for the very obvious ley line, but they do not have the ley line, so that's that's good. Hedron Crab, that has to go. I'm okay if you like use a Force of Vigor here. Go down three cards in hand. I'm cool with that. All right, would you like to force a vigor it? No. All right. On the Ice is so underrated. So good. Another one. Okay. Oh, they were going to have some hyper mill going on there. Drew's not a sub. Oh, no. At least you're a mod. So you get the ducky by default. I'll give a ducky on behalf of Drew. There's a ducky. The opponent is sideboarding in Mirror Gallery? Maybe. So that we don't Legend Rule their Hogak. Hello! What's up, Manu Tunax? Thanks for the follow. Um, I want blue manas here. <gasps> There it is. There it is. Uh, wait, what am I fetching here? Fetching a hollow fountain. Drew, with four months in a row, resubscribe. Welcome back to the marination. Enjoy your moons, your nuts, your carns, and your duckies, and soon to be. All right, I'll show you, I swear, I'll show you guys in between rounds the emotes I'm working on. We got one more coming. And I think it's going to be between the spike and the flood. But if somebody can think about a different, another emote, like, we're still throwing out ideas. Like, if anybody has ideas, throw them out in the chat. Because, like, that's, like, we're looking for ideas for a, for a thing. For a emote. There's the ducky. All right. Now Drew has the duck. The power of the duck. They got two Venge Vines, and are they about to make it legal? Wait, how- did they unearth? What happened? Well, how'd they get a one mana Seder this turn? Why does it have so- what, what happened? What'd I miss? How does this have so many sickness, and this is what their lands are looking like? What did I miss? How did they get this out? Um... Uh... What? I missed it. Did somebody see what happened? How does this satyr, the satyr have so many sickness, but they're able to still cast a carrion feeder here? Oh, did they lose a gemstone cavern? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, now I see. Gemstone mine, yeah. Man. Uh... Yep, we're too slow. That's Hogak for you. And this would be the perfect opportunity to put a spiky mode in chat. Except we don't have one yet. What's up, Sir, Sir, Nim Sir Nimly? Welcome to the stream. Oh, you were one of the ones gifted a sub. Awesome. That's super cool. Welcome to the marination. Enjoy your moons, your nights, your cards, and your ducks. And Joakovo is here as well. What's up, dudes? My dudes. Uh, this hand is very, very uneventful, but I'm going to keep it. Just because of Charter Course and Rhino. <laughs> They're good cards. Alright, planes go. What what could this be? Another rhino. I don't mind more rhinos. Who doesn't who who minds more rhinos? I definitely want to get a temple garden here because I want a green source and I also want double white for Seance. Ooh, spirits. Okay. This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be very tough. Their dudes are gonna be bigger and they're gonna be able to like exile my rhinos very easily. Go Temple Garden tapped. If I can get an Ice Fan Codal here, that'd be amazing. That's not bad either. That's not bad either. So let's go with 
snow-covered island. And let's on thin ice. I could have waited to like hit um a lord, but then again, if they have like Kira the Great Glass Spinner or like something like that, it it'd be very annoying. And I wouldn't be able to use the on thin ice. So I might as well use it now while I can. All we're trying to do with this deck is stay alive till we can get the get the train going. Um so whatever damage we can prevent in the early game is very useful. And they did not even sack it. They have faith they can get it back by using a deputy detention. You just got off work? We playing seance? Sweat. We, we're playing seance sweat. Ooh, agent of treachery, A. Eh? All right, let's uh, start a course and discard that Agent of Treachery. All right, let's ditch an Agent of Treachery. Uh, play a Snow-Covered Swamp and pass. Now next turn we can go with Rhino into Rhino into... Hopefully find a Seance. On Thin Ice is criminally underused. I agree. I think that Mono White, like, Death and Taxes could definitely just play it over Path, like... It doesn't have that upside for your opponent and they're likely it's gonna be hard for them to deal with it for one they're not they're gonna be like land denied by um by uh Leon and arbiter and they're gonna be like mana denied by thalia it's gonna be hard for them to have, find the time to deal with an ante nice so like but then again if they have, they have like a ghost quarter they can deal with it but they're like since you're denied their lands they're not gonna find the time to ghost quarter all right, let's go green, whatever, whatever, whatever. Rhino number one. Back up. Let's just trade life totals opponent. I think your life total is more appealing. Can I have it, please? Thank you. Your phone just hates me. Yeah, I, I wish I had spell correct on my phone. Like, I used to have spell correct, like, uh, years ago, and it was so good. Those were some, those were some good times, but not anymore. Like, I, I my phone, my new phone doesn't have it. And by new phone, I mean the phone I've had for a long time. Sorry, that noise was loud. So the opponent is on Esper Spirits, or they're just blue-white using a silent clearing just to have a, something to crack. But I feel like spirits are more blue than they are white, so I think that they should definitely be using a red uh, canopy land, like Fiery Islet or Waterlog Grove. Probably Waterlog Grove, because then that would give us the illusion they're on Bant. All right, sure, you can do that on my main phase and, and let me fetch. I'm going to get a second blue source for Agent of Treachery because I can actually start hard casting me. <laughs> and that's going to be hilarious. I drew another... Wait, when did I draw a second Agent of Treachery? I thought I discarded one. Yep. Path to Exil. All right, let's get out another Rhino. Is it getting quelled? It resolves. All right, back up to 19 once again. So I'm likely going to try to path something here. Which I can't do it now because they, if they have a rattle chains, like they have the, the Aether Sworn Cannon. Is that a, even a spirit? Isn't that a construct? Human cleric. Doesn't look like a human to me. It looks like a human construct. Yeah, I'm not going to path it now. I want to wait to see if I can get a better target. All right, now I'll attempt to path. Like, they could have, like, a, a rattle chains, but, like, whatever. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think I care too much about the Aether Sworn. Actually, you know what? It's actually getting to that point where it's actually pretty relevant. Because if I top, like, a commune with the gods or something, I'm going to want to play it and then, like, cast a seance afterwards. So, might as well. But let's see if the opponent would like to... Flash in a spell queller. They're gonna let it go. All right, cool. Would the opponent like to use their field of ruin to get rid of our green source? No. All right. Well, we drew green source anyways. So now let's go with Agent of Treachery number one. Bet you didn't see this coming, opponent. <laughs> Give me your island. I don't want you to have blue mana. Actually, no. They can feel the ruin. I'll take your selfless spirit. We don't even need seance. Who needs a seance? Sack it? Are they gonna sack it? 
They are gonna sack it. All right. Get with the rhino, I guess. Down to nine. What do they even have? Like the most uneventful hand in the world? Sure. You go, girl. What's up, System4200? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the stream. And a vial. All right. There's Ice Fang Kotal. All right. Let's go. Agent of Treachery, number two. Give me that. I would like it. I took their life total. I took their creatures. I'm taking everything. We're out here taking things. What's the spice? The spice is Agent of Treachery with Seance. That's the spice. Except we're, we didn't even draw Treachery, but we're still going off. <laughs> Opponent's down to three. Let's see if they can uh, draw into their singleton, settle the wreckage. I'm going to try not to fall for it, but we'll see what happens. Thalia, sure. Now they can't cast settle the wreckage, so I'm just going to swing everything. And you can't cast a second spell because I have Aether Sworn Cannonist. And opponent scoops it up. On to sideboarding against blue-white spirits. Um, Knight of Autumn can blow up the Aether Vial? Is that relevant? Um, it- I guess it also blows up Aether Sworn Cannonist. Because it's an artifact creature. Uh, Defense Grid is actually pretty useful because they can't, like, spell quell. But then again, they can still Vial. Um... But what the question is, what do I not want? Because I feel like I want everything that I have right now. Like, I don't think that. Like, destroying Vile is obviously okay, but like, do I really want to take anything out over it? I mean, Astrolabe fixes us. And I think, like, usually Astrolabe is cuttable, but in this deck, I think I need the Astrolabe because we're four color. I think I'm just going to submit it right back. Like, honestly, I think uh, we're pretty set up for this. I think Kotal's gonna be like the best card in here. <laughs> it's gonna be super annoying for their spirits to attack into. The sub name of the deck is Asian of Seance. <laughs> yeah, basically. Because we're running Asian of Treachery. I didn't want to call it like Treachery of Seance would have been a longer name. Also, a lot of uh there's a lot of like it's surprising the amount of people who watch my content that are not very good with their English. Or, like, don't speak English. So if I put, like, tre treacherous seance, I feel like a lot of them wouldn't know what treacherous means. That's not the reason why, though. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Um, We can chart a course and ditch a redundant seance. We got a path, so I guess so. I don't think they think we're seance. So I don't have anything to... I don't have any naturalized effects to fear, really. All right, Hall of Fountain tapped, go. My Hall of Fountain's better. I like this Hall of Fountain art. I've heard that people say that they really don't like this art, but I think it's really cool. Bopters have a nice touch. Really good. Ooh, on the nice. All right, let's do that. Let's on the nice again before they can get like a hexproof guy out. Um, so let's get a uh basic planes. And let's on thin ice on my planes. Try to exile that. All right, so maybe they did bring in naturalized effects because I do have on thin ice and they did see that in the first game. Seance of Treachery? Nah. I mean that could have been a that could have been a name. Either or there's there's different names. So we so we're Bending agents and seancing them back. Yes, we are. System 4200. That is what we are doing. All right. Let's go with... Uh, charter course. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I like that. I like that. Let's play Galashrine Tapped. Because... We can't cast a second spell this turn. 
And let's just pass. Like, shoutouts to our opponent, though, for playing a uh, main board, multiple copies of Aether Sworn Candidus, because it's actually really good right now. A lot of, like, Twiddlestorm and, you know, like, Hogak really cares about it, too. Um, it just stops a lot of stuff. British. I, I don't know how to do a British accent. I wanted to try to do it right now, but I heard it in my head and it sounds very Australian. Then, then again, I do it and it sounds like very Canadian or like Scottish. You make the woods and then the woods is that's not British. But then again, Australian people will say words. They wouldn't say woods. Um. Hmm. I feel like they're gonna have a spell caller. Uh. Do I want to go for seance here? Do I want to go for seance here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for seance. I'm gonna go for seance. We came here to seance, we're gonna seance. Let's do it. Gonna get spell quelled. <laughs> All right, so if they don't have a hexproof guy, we can on the nice and get our seance back. But actually, no. Oh, that's such good synergy. Check that out. So I exile the spell queller and I can't recast seance because I can only cast one spell per turn. So if they get it like a drog skull captain here, I'm screwed. Okay, sure. So I'm gonna like triple on the nice here, hopefully. <laughs> Give her runes? Oh, that's gotta go also. I'm gonna cast all of my Anthonices here. It's gonna be hilarious. Hopefully the opponent doesn't have a one mana like spell to counter that. Alright, Anthonice. Get rid of Aether Sworn. If they have a way, like a deputy detention, I am totally screwed. Come on, stick. Don't respond. Path your own dude, come on. And on they nice? <laughs> How stacked is this thing gonna be? Give me this back, please. I will cast it. And I would like that smuggler's copter, please. That looks like a very nice smuggler's copter. I would like to take it. That's a play set of On The Nice. And let's pass the turn. Stop on their upkeep. Seance back, my agent of treachery. Give me the smuggler's copter, please. All right. Now you do your thing, opponent. I would definitely like a crew fixes insight or commune with the gods now so I can fill my grave. Please and thank you. Blade splicer. All right, that's pretty neat. But I have a removal spell for that golem. Ooh, another agent of treachery. Unfortunately, I can't discard it. I can just hard cast a rhino here and then go for smuggler's copter. So white, black, green, whatever. Oh, the smuggler's copter can let me ditch the agent of treachery. Oh, that's amazing. That's so amazing. The random looter scooter stealing it for the victory. Oh, man. That's insane. So now I can go to combat if they don't have a path. No, the dream is dead. The dream is dead. We're so close, though. All right, let's get another... Uh, forest? Dang, we almost lived the dream there. Only one zucchini? You just picked a zucchini from your garden? I like zucchinis. I like to spiralize them. I like to spiralize zucchinis. Oh, what's up, JJ? Gets Queller out of their hand. Had to force it. What's up, the lead 46? What's up, Jack Sabbath? Yeah, I cry when he finds a ghost coder. I'm crying.
Well, we saw Field of Ruin. They don't have Ghost Coder, they have Field of Ruin. We saw it in game one. All right, let's go to Wombat. Get in there. Man. All right, well, at least we're getting our island to hard cast another... Uh, let's not misclick here. Get another island to hard cast that Asian of Treachery in our hand, I guess. And, uh, I guess we're just gonna pass. Like, I don't want to play a second seance to get it, you know, deputy detentioned. Hey, what's up, Via Thea Gozord? Thanks for the follow. And also, my years riders, thanks for the follow. And El Pentagor, Penta Pengator, thanks for the follow. Oh, Andy Tesh is here. Been a long time, man. How's it been going? Been a long time since I've seen you. You've been busy with work and life. Oh, uh, well, uh, it's it's been it's been going good. We we uh got every every sub goal we possibly could get so that's amazing okay i guess we're going on the plan of hard casting agents again it worked in game number one hopefully it'll work again in game number two give me that blade splicer resto all right sure i'll take that resto next turn seems like a solid steal What commanders would you build around as well? What uh, what commanders will I build around? Um, I'm going to probably build. Uh, I mean, I'm currently working on Geth, Lord of the Vault because I just I've never had like I'm gonna block this so I can sans it back. I I'm because like I want a black deck. Like every time I build a black deck, I just take it apart just because. Like, what Black does in EDH is just not my playstyle. It just, like, either tutors combos, um, it, like, uses graveyard synergies, like, reanimation, and, and then, like, it kills everybody's stuff, and it's just, like, not what I'm into. Like, it's not my playstyle, but, um, I like, in blue, I like playing steel effects, like, treachery, speaking of which, uh, like, I like playing, a. Uh, you know, things like that, like Gilded Drake and Blatant Thievery and stuff like that. Um, so Geth is like a Steel Stuff deck, but in black. So that could be a good time. Yo, what's up, Jay? Thoughts on the new Commander decks? Oh yeah, that's Andy Tesh's thing. Whenever he comes to the chat, he always asks what I think about new stuff. Um, the new Commander decks are... Um, I did a video on Atla Polani. The Jess guy won Super Broken. Um, what else? There's a... I wanted to try to build the Rakdos one. Alright, there's a, a Rhino for us to get back and Helix our opponent. Alright, let's get in with everything. Kyrick is broken. Yeah, but like... Kyrick is broken, but the thing is, you have to find your combo quick with him. Because if you don't, like, he's gonna drain you out so fast. Like, I know you start at 40, but you're gonna get drained out pretty quick. But if you have an Aether Flux Reservoir, like, you're just gonna spend, like, your first, like, turns 1, 2, and 3, like, using Vampiric, Demonic, whatever, to tutor an Aether Flux Reservoir, play it, and then go off with Kyrick. It's gonna be super mega busted. Anyways, we got there against Blue-White Spirits, just hard casting Agent of Treacheries, being able to chump block with them, get them back, steal more stuff. It's so awesome. Like, didn't exactly function how we wanted, because we never got, like, Commune or Crucifix of Insight until the very last turn. So that was a disappointment, but it still worked out. I'll take it. Got a game here against Permission MTG, and yes... Gonna be in the play. Uh, we can fill our grave with Krufus's insight and find a seance. I'm gonna keep this and hope that this path is live. Otherwise, we're doing absolutely nothing. Certainly not better than Hogak. Of course it is. All I gotta do is rip and then path a couple times. 
Uh, let's get Hall of Fountain. All right, there's a rhino. Rhino's decent. Oh, what is this? Spirits. Humans. Cat. Ooh, all right. So this would be a perfect time for the spicy mode. It's chalice cats. All right, well, I don't mind too much about that. It stops my astrolabes and my removal spells, but it's all right. We can fight through it. That's a dead draw. As soon as I, we say, oh, one drops are dead. And we top deck a one drop. What do you know? All right, let's get a basic forest and try to find this seance and fill our grave with some treacheries. Oh, we fill our grave with some treacheries, but we don't have the seance. A seance would have been great in that stack. Double treachery would have been amazing. Now we're doing pretty much nothing. Nice. All right, let's pay for Arbiter and fetch while we can. Get a basic planes. Lean and Arbiter is a good cat. Is it actually cat tribal or did we just get disappointed? Man, it's not cat tribal. I'm disappointed. We'll take it. All right, well, Rhino into Rhino is a good way to bounce back. Um, I'm hoping they bounce my Rhino with this placer. That'd be nice. For whatever it's worth. Over the last several GPs, it was around 65% win rate against it. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, no! Dawn on Seer takes our last Rhino, and these removal spells are dead. I need a seance. Oh, what do you know? Another Rhino. <laughs> Sweet. No attacks. We're stalling trying to find the seance. Because if I get the seance out and get these two Asian treasuries, they're dead. They're dead. Sure, you go, girl. Yes, I remember Zero Dame not to crack that fetch. Breeding spool. Well, I'm going to crack the fetch now, because I don't want them to have, like, an Aven Mind Sensor out of nowhere. Get a Temple Garden. Oh, oh, turn off all auto yields. They got a Ghost Quarter. Turn off all auto yields. I'm not about to screw get screwed over by that. Dang, Reality Smasher. All right, well, I have to double block. Come on, man, seance. Dude, come on. Give me a seance. Okay, now it's actually worth their while to flicker my siege rhino and attack in. Winds of Abandon. Oh, no, I didn't pay for the Arbiter. No. I expected it to be Displacer activation. I did not expect that. Why are they not attacking with those? They probably think I have Restoration. Yeah, they see Asian Treachery and Rhino and probably think I have Restos. Ooh. the a spicy one to flash in. It's probably going to get Displaced. All right, we have one hope here. Sure. Oh, they're giving us another chance to live. They have to displace this, probably. That is not a seance. Try to block one. Bounces their own thought not Siri. Yep. Get to draw a card, please, not a seance. No 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 no. Time to concede. 
I'm not about to reveal Seance. They're about to, that's such a shame. They flicker their, their thought on Seer. We top a Seance, they're gonna take it. We were waiting the entire game for a Seance too. Man, it's crazy how that happens. Um, Do I bring in something for Aether Val? Probably not. I'd probably just leave it the same. TBH. Yeah, let's just leave it the same. Oh no, 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 We gotta prepare for Chalice. So bring in Knight of Autumns and Seal of Primordiums. Ice Queen Kotal is so good here. Let's cut one crew fixes in sight. One... I don't want to cut anything else. Alright, going down to three. Uh, cut one Astrolabe. I guess one Ice Fang, but Ice Fang is so good here. Um... Whatever. It's hard to make cuts from this deck. Now, Astrolabe's needed, though, because, like, we're four colors, and the fixing is very important. What's up, Bant for life? Would you like to play first? Sure, why not? Okay. Go Primordium. We are in desperate need of mana. Desperate need. Uh, why did we bring in Silver? Oh, yeah, rest in peace. This hand gets screwed over by Arbiter. Is this worth it? Am I supposed to keep this? Charticors ditches something. Once I get the blue source, like this is a very high risk, high reward hand. Like if I get the blue source, I'm I'm rolling in it. Like I'm I'm doing so good if I had a blue source here. What do you guys think? Let's get the chat's decision here. Is this a keep or a mole? Risk it. Or keep it. Just watched your Lotus Field combo deck, the Twiddle Storm. Thanks, Band for Life. Keep. All right, we got one vote for keep. Any more? We're gonna do maybe a card flip. YOLO. All right, we got two keeps, so I'm gonna keep it. Poseidon just cursed out loud. That's all he had to say. I'm gonna try it. Overgun Womb. <sighs> no! No! That's a problem. Oh no! Okay, if I don't top a blue source or any land for that matter right now, this next turn, I'm gonna scoop. Save us all some time because we're not gonna beat the turn one Thalia. And they got the Eldrazi Temple too! A bummer. All right, all right, all right. That's something. So let's go for charter course here. Get an island. Didn't hit a land. Uh, what are we ditching? Probably one of our redundant seances. Because they're not going to have a way to deal with it. And I would kind of like to hard cast this Rhino. Better as a blocker than it is as a Helix. It's more of a loud whisper. I'll buy that. Don't shoot. No. Why do they always have it? Ah, uh, every, every single time I ever go up against a deck that has Thought Not Seer in it, they always have it in their opener. They always have it on curb. And more than that, usually they have multiple. Like, how does it happen every time? I don't understand. It's like so consistent too. Like, how can it be that consistent? All right, I could flash in a Ice Fang Kotal to chump, but then again, I don't know. I just want to chart a course, right? Try to hit my land drop. Guess so. Did hit our land drop. Start seal a primordium. Play a swamp and go. 
And now we're gonna have Ice Fang Kotal online, but let's watch that Reality Smasher or Second Thought Knots here. Okay, it's Tokali Honor Guard, so I should have played the Ice Fang Kotal. Tokali Honor Guard completely destroys me, by the way. Alright, so let's go with Commune to try to find another um another seance. There it is, but there's also an on thin ice. Do I want the on thin ice here instead? Yeah, I gotta take the on thin ice first. And I only have one seance left in my deck. The reason I need that on thin ice is because I can't actually play my deck with Tokotli Honor Guard on the table. So I have to try to ambush vape this uh thought knots here. Alright. We'll take that. Have to shock that. Alright, throw out on the nice. Oh, I have to enchant a snow land. The problem is they have ghost quarters in their deck. And play an Astrolabe. Draw. And pass. Alright, we might barely stabilize if they don't have a Reality Smasher. Just the Thalia. We'll take it. Down to three. Do they have any follow-up? Looks like they're playing a lot of nothing. Alright. Filter for blue. Go green. Kotal. Kotal Khan. Play a Plains. Rhino. Yep. Filter for blue. Chart one of the courses. And let's ditch a... Breeding pool. And let's pass a turn. No need to get hasty. Another Rhino's great. And we're filling our graveyard like crazy. And this Crypt Existence Insight hopefully will find us a seance. They found the Smasher. That's lethal, isn't it? I have to chump with Siege Rhino now. What were you sandbagging this whole time? What did they sandbag? Winds of a oh, did they top deck that? No, that's so lame. How did they not play that? Why did they not play that thought not steer the entire time? Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I think that they had the winds of abandon waiting for target because we didn't have a target the whole time, and then they top deck the reality smasher. If they didn't top that reality, that if they didn't top that reality smasher there, our crew fixes insight was gonna find us a seance, and we're gonna get back Asian of Treacheries and Rhinos and start going off. But opponents have to top deck at the right moment. <laughs> what a shame. Yo, what up guys? Post-production Marin here with their typical per video speed up sessions. So we're speeding up the next two games. We do this to make sure the video is not way longer than it should be. So it's like one hour as opposed to being like two and a half. Um so we're speeding up the longest games. And uh as I always say. If you wanted to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and watch the entire VOD there. So we end up going up against Vile Goblins. This deck has been pretty popular lately. Uh, so this was not supposed to be a long matchup by any means. It was only long because the opponent was like, they were taking a long time to play. Like, they ended up almost timing out this round. And they were just playing so slow. There was even a time where they like literally went AFK for like eight minutes. And luckily I cut that part out, so you don't have to wait through that. Um, but I'm not too scared here. Like, we got the Seance getting Rhino back, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable. But then they have a, uh, they have enough power. Yeah, they got the Matron there, and that gives us enough, that gives them enough power with the hasty uh, Goblin War Chiefs to be able to get in there for exactly lethal for our blockers. We go into the next game. And I have Ante Nice there. It's feeling pretty comfortable. All I really have to do in this matchup is just get out a couple Rhinos and I'm good to go. Um, but this is a pretty decent looking hand. We got the uh, Ice Fang Kotal to Cantrip. We got three removal spells now. I get my Rhino. I mill over two Agent of Treacheries, which is super awesome. So now all I have to do is find a land. Praying for a land off the top here. And uh, this is the point where I am contemplating. But next turn... I can Seance, and I have two Agent of Treacheries in my grave, so I gotta figure out what to take. 
Now, I was really heavily considering taking lands because I was thinking maybe I can land screw them. But somebody in the chat said, you know, the Skirk Prospector is just going to give them all the mana they want. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. So I ended up using both of my Agent of Treacheries that I got from the Seance uh, to be able to take both of their Skirk Prospectors. And uh, now I'm just grinding out at this point, but I do have all the removal in the world. So I, my plan is to kind of just start beating down with this Rhino. Uh, we keep getting redundant seances. We get a Knight of Autumn to gain some life back. And I start swinging out, but they get that uh, Goblin War Chief and actually get in for a lot of damage here. Um, but I'm not too scared. I get to a healthy 11, gain some life back with the Knight of Autumn, start attacking him with Rhino, and uh, I exile a couple more things. The Crewfix's Insight can dig for many more um, Anthe Nices for me, and that's pretty much just game. Uh, so they try to chum block a Rhino, realize it doesn't work, and they end up dying to lethal because they apparently didn't know how to trample. Go into the next game. They got that frog tosser banneret every single game on turn one or turn two. Uh, they got the vial this game, and we're on the draw, and they got the vial, so it's looking pretty scary. I'm hoping their hand's not too good, but I do got two siege rhinos in hand, and so I'm like, yeah, things are looking pretty good. Uh, so these siege rhinos are going to do us some good. Get some helixes in there, gain some life back, and uh, the opponent just reached a threshold of five minutes left on their timer. Uh, they're able to kill our siege rhino with their um, goblin munitions expert or whatever it's called. Get out more rhinos and just giving them a really hard time to beat in there. And I start hard casting agent of treacheries just to just like take their skirk prospectors. I take both of their skirk prospectors so they can't sack them. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to steal that war chief. What I do here is I have the agent of treachery. I steal the war chief, swing for six, and then when I go to their turn, they have three life left. So I return the siege rhino with seance, get in for the last three, and that is exaxes. So that's pretty nice, getting there for Xaxes against Goblins, taking them down, going right on to the next speed up session. We end up going up against a deck that goes snow covered swamp, snow covered forest, Arkham's Astrolabe. I have no idea what's going on. And then they have uh, Eldamari's Call to find Sin Collector and then play Teferi. So I'm like, what is going on here? I have no idea. Um, my hand is looking pretty solid, even though I don't have any seances. I'm getting to that point where I can start hard casting Agent of Treacheries, and that seems pretty good. Like, at this point, I don't even want to play the seance that's in my hand. I just want to start hard casting stuff. And that's, uh, fine by me. And then I see that Pillar of the Peruns, and I'm like, okay, they're definitely a multicolor deck. They're just, like, mono multicolor. And, uh, they, uh... Thought Erasure my Seance, and then they reveal that they have Mainboard Unmoored Ego. And Unmoored Ego eats all of my Seances. And this is the point where I'm like, okay, now it's gotten really tough for us. Because my graveyard is stacked of, like, so much good stuff to get back with Seance. But they Unmoored Ego my Seance. And I don't really have much threats left in my deck. Like, what am I really trying to draw into? A Rhino that they can just kill or a... Agent of Treasury they can just kill. So I decided to scoop it up and go into the next game. I bring in the Acidic Slimes and the Greater Aromancies because they have so many hard removal spells. Deputy Detentions, Maelstrom Pulses, Assassin's Trophies. I know they're going to try to destroy my Seances. So I bring the Greater Aromancies. And I know it's a slow, grindy matchup. So I bring in the playset of Acidic Slime to try to destroy some lands. So I get another Ice Fang Codal draw to Cantra, find our lands, get that Seance eventually. I get the Rhino down and start beating in. And uh, what they do here is they destroy, at end of turn, they destroy my Assassin's Trophy, or they use Assassin's Trophy to destroy my Seance. And they untap and bring to light for five and get an Unmoored Ego to get my Seances again. So now I know that I'm on the hard cast plan. But luckily, I have triple Rhino into um, Agent of Treachery. And I take the Bloodbraid Elf and I just got the super nut without seance so that's pretty nice triple rhino into agent of treachery is like a pretty nice way to win uh we go into the final game of the video the very final game i get to ferry out i start trying to attack it and it's such an annoyance because every time like what happened here this game was mana screw and i'll tell you why so what i did on turn two like i kept the hand that was like i don't think it was too greedy i had two lands and a cantrip and then another cantrip i had the astrolabe and the ice fang cola to cantrip so i was like i had a pretty pretty good shot at finding lands but i did on turn three 
the um, commune with the gods and milled over like three of my fetchable lands. And then I ran out of fetchable lands in my deck, like no matter what fetch lands I get, like the only way I can ever assemble mana is to just draw my shock lands, which I don't have many of. So that kind of screws me over this game and it's really unfortunate. That was just totally bad luck. But the opponent has like Niv Mazeko and I just realized there's nothing I can do. So GG to five color. So we ended up with three total wins. Obviously one of them was quite free. Um, but this deck is not, I wouldn't say it's competitive. It's more of like a casual deck. It's a, it's a Timmy deck. And that's what Timmy's like to play is just like, try something, try to make it work and rejoice if you do. Um, so it's, it's, it's a brew. It's, it's a meme more or less. It's not to be anything serious, but uh, Agent of Treachery was pretty fun, but a lot of the time, actually, it didn't get anything good. It was like tiny little creatures because I feel like if you're going up against a deck where they have good things to take, like giant planeswalkers or something, then in those kinds of matchups, they're usually going to be able to stop you from ever getting the Agent of Treachery. Those go big decks are going to have so much control that you're likely not going to get an Agent of Treachery against them. And if you do, then yeah, that's awesome. Like we got one against Blue Eye Control and took their Narset, which was pretty cool. And that was like the best thing we took all day. But it's cool how it can take really problematic permanents like that. And it's really fun. But I think if you're going to play Seance, you need a lot more self mill. Like our biggest, hugest problem with this deck that we ran into was that we had like no self mill. Like we, we were like drawing the wrong half of the deck a lot of the time. We were drawing Seance, but like nothing to like throw stuff in the grave. So I think what I would do if I were to build the deck again is like screw Ice Fang Kotal, screw Astrolabe. Uh, let's just keep the Anthonices because they have really cool synergy with like Commune and Crucifix's mm -hmm. Insight. And just like keep all this stuff. But then all this stuff right here could be like, you could go like Faithless Looting plus another set of good creatures to get back. Um, could be like Hornet Queen or I don't know, something. There's not a whole lot of good things to get back with Seance. It's a really difficult tar tar card to brew with. Like, Shostani Summoner is a thing you can get back. It's not particularly good, but you can get it back and get like a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, and a 4-4 four, four token. But it's cute. It, it doesn't work all too well, but, you know, you can mess around with it. And I think that I would definitely do that. Like, we have nine slots here. So just cut like four things for like Faithless Looting Splash Red. Just go five color. Just like the Astrolabes. You know, maybe the astrolabes what make that work. The astrolabes are very important for four colors, so keep the astrolabes. But like, like we got six slots here. Just add more. Like, okay, add another crew fixes inside. Go up to the fourth copy, and then maybe you can go like four satyr wayfinders, and then just like another good thing to like reanimate. And then that would be basically it. That's what I'd say you should do. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what you think about this deck. Uh, what would you do? Like to it, what would you do with Seance? Let me know, because it was really difficult for me to brew this. So I'd be curious to see your perspective. Um, and let me know a deck you want to see for a future gameplay video. And uh, this is currently being uploaded while I am at GP Vegas. So I'm currently there right now. And if you wanted to come hang out, if you are there right now and watching this on your phone and didn't know that I was there, I am currently there playing Commander. Come find me. Let's hang out. Let's play a game. And uh, anyways, for those YouTube goers, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new for the jankiest of gameplay every other day. Um, thanks to the patrons and the chat. Go check out the social media links are down below and uh, go check the Twitch as well down below. If you want to catch one of these live streams, we currently stream every Saturday, Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.